Hey, what is going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS, get better performance and lower your input latency for CSGO. Also, CS2 is right around the edge and I'm pretty excited to make a video for you guys as well. So make sure to be subscribed. Also, do follow this guy till the end for better results. Also, leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, the first step that we are going to be doing over here is checking for Windows updates. So for that, you need to open up your settings and then go all the way down to Windows updates. Once you are here, Windows will automatically check for the latest updates. And if you have not already updated your Windows, you can see all of those updates listed over here. Once again, I highly recommend you guys to click on get the latest updates as they are available. Why we do this is because there are a lot of bugs caused by the windows and windows keep bringing up these new updates to fix those issues. And if you have any update possible, you will see it right over here. Step number two is also in the settings. You need to look for your gaming option and then go over to game mode. Then enable game mode. Come back to gaming and then go to Xbox game bar and make sure that Xbox game bar is disabled. Right beneath that, you will find related settings. Go and open up graphics. Click on change default graphics settings. Over here, make sure to enable both the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and optimized for Windows games. This will improve your input latency as well as FPS whenever you're playing the game. Also, make sure that you restart your PC once you're done enabling both of these options. Then go back to graphics and over here you will find a list of all of the applications and games which uses your GPU for performance. And over here you will also find your CSGO listed. And if not already, you can always go and click on this browse button to add CSGO from the installation directory. Now I already have my CSGO installed over here. So go to options and then select high performance. I highly recommend you guys to do this step. It is really, really necessary. Step number three is de-animating your windows. Windows by default has a lot of animations and you need to disable it to get the better performance. For that, you need to search for adjust and appearance and performance of windows and over here, click on adjust for best performance. Then select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Once you're done with that make sure to click on ok that will deanimate your windows and you can see performance boost right away next step is system configuration or the boot configuration for that press your windows and r key together and type in msconfig over here and then this small window will pop right in front of you what you need to do is go over to the boot section click on advanced option click on number of processor and select the maximum number of processors available for your pc simply click on ok and then click on apply this will improve your system's booting time and also the gaming performance in the long run. You can also go over to the startup section, click on open task manager and disable all of the unnecessary startup applications since they consume your memory in the background right from the boot of your computer. This will also reduce your last BIOS time that is the time taken by your BIOS to boot up. The lower these applications are, the lower your BIOS time is. Also, do not touch the applications which you don't have any idea about. Only keep those applications which you use right after the boot. Next step is defragging your disk. It is as important as it sounds, you need to open up File Explorer. Once you are in your this PC, you need to select your local disk C as this is the main drive of your computer. You need to right click, go to properties and then go over to the tools section. Then click on error checking, check this and scan drive. If you have any errors or defragmentation on your local disk C, it will automatically check it and fix it with the next boot of your computer. Also, you will find an option to optimize and defragment your drive. Simply click on optimize and this window will pop right in front of you. What you are looking for is your local disk C. Over here, you will find an option to optimize your local disk C. If you have a solid straight drive, you will not have an option to analyze it. That means you cannot defrag your SSD. But if you are having a hard disk, you can always click on analyze and it will analyze and fragment your hard disk drive. For the solid state drive, I highly recommend you guys to click on optimize and let it trim and this will improve your performance in the long run. Once it is done, simply click on close. And next step is checking your PC thoroughly through Gera Booster. Gera Booster is a very simple application which you can go and download from the link in the description below. You can simply come to this website, click on download Windows for completely free. Now the application looks like this. What you need to do is go over to the game section and over here look for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You can always get it from the search bar as well. Once you are here, simply click on boost, select the nearest region to you. For me, it is Middle East. 
and as you guys can see it is now starting to boost the game the best part of this application is it also helps you boost your computer in the background and it also helps you to boost your network as you guys can see over here i have the middle east all servers set to dubai 489 and i am getting a 104 percent improvement on my network right from this application the best part is you can go to configure click on configure and enable the first second and the last option then go to optimization settings and enable all of these options and that's it you are now ready to play csgo without any interruption and improved network connection gear up booster supports windows consoles and mobile games so it is supported on multiple platforms and these are all the platforms that gear up booster supports you can simply download gear up booster from the link in the description below try it for free and if gear up booster helps you guys you can get a membership for one month 12 month or three month right from the application make sure to go check out gear up booster for completely free links in the description below all right next step is creating a restore point and this is very important Simply search to create a restore point on your PC and then look for local disk C or system. Then simply click on configure and make sure the tunnel system protection is enabled. Then click on create and name it CSGO. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step as it is really essential. If anything goes wrong on your computer, you will always have a restore point to come back to. And this will ensure your system's safety. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the CSGO FPS pack. I will provide a link to this pack in the description below and this pack is a must have. It will improve your FPS drastically. So if all those settings didn't work out for you guys, you can always download this pack from the link in the description below and you can also join my Discord server for a detailed video tutorial on how to download these FPS packs from my website. Now, once you are here, you will find in four simple folders. First one is the CPU priority, in which you will find AMD and Intel separate folders. You can simply open up system information on your computer and you will look your processor over here. The initials is AMD for me, it could be Intel for you. Also, take a note on your installed physical memory, which is 32 gigabytes for me. Once again, you need to remember both of these things as it is going to be used further in the steps. Now, I need to run the AMD CPU priority, but if you are an Intel user, run the Intel CPU priority. This will also help you to generally boost your FPS in all of the games. Also, run the increased CPU priority registry. This is independent of both the processors and you need to run it as well. Second folder is the RAM optimization and this is exactly why I told you guys to remember the RAM that you're using. I'm using 32 gigabytes of memory. It could be different for you. So I have left a lot of presets over here as well as a reset to default in case you don't like it. You can simply run the RAM registry that you like and it will work great for you guys. Third one is the power plan and programs. Over here, you need to open this thing up and simply right click and run the clean temporary files you can simply run it as administrator and this will remove all of the temporary files on your pc don't worry this is completely safe and it won't harm your pc in any way next thing is the ultimate power plan.txt you need to copy this whole code open up your cmd as administrator and once you are in this window you need to control v to paste this code over here and simply press enter i have already done it so i will show you guys the next step that is to go to control panel and then search for power options on your PC. Once you are here, you need to select the ultimate performance power plan if it is not already selected. But make sure that if you are a laptop user, keep it balanced because it may overheat or give you a lower performance. Lastly is the Unpark CPU.exe. This application will help you a lot, so open this thing up. This application has a really simple interface. Now Windows by default has this, that if your PC is not utilizing all of the CPU cores, it will automatically park them to save power. But that will result in FPS drops and higher input latency. So what we need to do is set the core parking index all the way to 100 and simply click on apply. Do this no matter if you're on a laptop or your computer, it will work completely fine. And as you guys can see, the enable cores are 24. So now I am using all of the cores when I'm playing the game and it will improve my FPS. Lastly is the game tweaks and in here you will find some of these commands. Now once again, the ultimate power plan was also over there. I have left it over here as well. So just in case you miss it. Now what you need to do is go to launch options and simply copy this code from here. Now open up Steam on your PC and you will find CSGO already in the list. Right click, go to properties and in the launch option, you need to paste the exact launch options over here and that will optimize your CSGO drastically. 
now last one is the console commands and this is where i will help you guys so you just need to copy this whole code and now let's move into the csgo okay so once you are in csgo what you should do is go and open up the settings menu and then over here you will find the game settings what you need to do is go and click on enable developer console if it is already set to no you need to make sure that it is set to yes then go in video then video and over here you can set the main background scenery it doesn't really matter what does matter is the resolution on which you're playing the game you can always lower this resolution down and that will give you ultimately good fps if not already also for the display mode always recommend it to play on full screen as it will be exclusive and the apps running in the background or the services running in the background will be automatically minimized also for laptop power savings keep it disabled as this could be a cause of major fps loss then for the advanced video settings i highly recommend you guys to go with these competitive settings as i am showing you guys make sure that uh, effect detail is low shader detail go for low set everything low except the boost player contrast you need to set it enable multi-code rendering you always need it enable for multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode you can keep it done fxa anti-aliasing keep it disabled Texture filtering mode, you can go with bilinear. This is the fastest texture filtering mode. This is the fastest texture filtering mode. You can set it to bilinear. Um, go down for the vertical sync, keep it disabled. Motion blur disabled. And for the use Uber shaders, you can keep it disabled. These are the best video settings for the quality. So these are the best settings possible for the video settings. Now, once you're back in the menu, last thing that we need to do is the console commands from the FPS pack. So for that, you need to press and open up your command console. And for that, you need to press the button right below the escape key. And this will open up your console and then paste it right over here. Make sure to press enter. So once you're done with all of these settings, make sure to close your console. And now you are ready to play your game on the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It's seriously helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out